Hey, what if you always wanted to make a game, but you didn't know where to start or how to code? I mean, you could give up and become a streamer. I can get away with this. With this junk rat, I can get away with it. With this junk rat, I can definitely get away with this. Watch this. Yo, he had my number. Or you could become the coolest person ever and watch this video and get some tips. I don't know, man. Just pretend this was a good intro. Video games are like really cool. Their creative vision turn into reality. They could tell a story and also create unforgettable moments. Here in the indie game dev community, we just be making games. But I do notice a lot of you who watch my videos haven't actually started making games, but you're really interested in this. And after this video, a lot of you can, thanks to the sponsor of the video, G-Develop. Develop like a G. <laughs> they did not tell me to say that. And I don't know if they'll like that I said that, but I just said that. I remember when I started game development. Coding for me was like a huge hurdle. I'm, I'm just this goofy guy, I say dumb things all the time, and I didn't think I was capable of understanding how to code. But hear me out, GDevelop has a no-code scripting language! Okay, I'm over here in GDevelop because I really want you to see how easy that this is with their coding language. So all I've done is imported this small green platform. This was made by Kenny. If you don't know who Kenny is, Kenny makes some amazing free assets and does a bunch of cool stuff for the entire game dev universe. All right, I'm gonna go over to this untitled scene event. We're gonna add an event. We're gonna say key pressed. Let's say D. When you click the D button, what's gonna happen? Boom, we're gonna add three to the scale of the small green platform when we press the D key. Press D, it's getting bigger, it's getting bigger and I can't even see it anymore. It's really that simple. GDevelop also has these things called behaviors and they are really cool and help you prototype and do things super quick i'm gonna show you exactly what i mean i'm gonna add a new object and i'm gonna add this blue player by kenny drag this bad boy here click on it, edit it go to its behaviors add the behavior platformer character then i can go to the behaviors of my platform add the platform to it hit apply run the game look at this i got a player controller that fast that's just awesome. That's so cool. It's so fun too. It gets you into the process quicker, which is exactly what a lot of people need. They have an idea. They want to put it down. They want to make the guy fall off the side like that. They can do it really fast in G-Develop. Now let's talk about shaders. In Minecraft, shaders are the thing that make it look 4K real life, can't tell the difference challenge hard. Guess what? In G-Develop, you can also add really awesome shaders to your games. Okay, check this out. All you got to do, go over to edit effects, go to your effect type, and I was already on pixelate, so might as well just hit apply. Go into the preview. Look at that, it got pixelated. Let's do another one. This is actually, it's actually really fun to go into this and, and check it out. What about glow? Look at that, it's got a glow around it now. It's customizable. I can actually go here if I wanted to make the glow blue and then make the outer strength 15. That might be pretty crazy. Look at that. Now it's kind of made like a cool little outline to it. I'm just having a good time. Dark Knight. What does Dark Knight look like? Batman. The Batman. I don't know, kind of looks like Batman. I'm gonna be here all night doing this. Old film? Yeah, sure. Old. Make it look like an old film. That's awesome. That is the. That's the one. That is the one. You gotta download this. You gotta make a game with this filter. That's. That's impossible. That's impossible. I'm just calling it right now. That's not possible. They did not do that. They did not have to do that to us. It can make the noise size 10. What is that going to look like if I do that? Oh, Minecraft from the, the 50s. I've discovered the templates. I can go forward. I can go backward. The funny car is driving through the triangles. I got my start as a game developer in a no-code engine. And one of my favorite things is just the speed at which you can make things. I am just a a giant ball of ideas i'm constantly coming up with ideas and in a no code engine you can really easily just take the idea from your brain just slap it in the thing and then it just works i tried to make this video extremely not technical and easy to understand because i know that when i started i hated watching these videos and they're talking about all these different design philosophies and ways to schedule and manage things and that is not what i wanted i wanted to just make a video game. But another thing about GDevelop that's awesome is it has a great community full of tutorials and people to help you out. They have a Discord server. And if you do have those sorts of technical questions, they definitely can be answered. 